Hey guys, if you are interested in seeing how I magically created this look, stay tuned because this is going to be a, a very much a chatty get ready with me. I haven't done my hair yet. <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned. using my new palette that I bought, the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I bought this maybe a week or so ago, and these are the colors so that you can see. I covered my mirror up with this so that you could see the colors. I think this is a sort of a, um, a cooler tone palette and very much a more neutral colors. Anyways, I thought I would do this get ready with me show you sort of how I do my my eye look and I am by far a novice when it comes to eyeshadows I do have a few favorite palettes that I use and a few favorite looks and all that so this particular palette I just recently picked up I bought and I really like it a lot what I found when I've worn it each day is that the the colors go on and I happen to like something that gets built up. I don't like something that is going to, you know, just go on and be full force and and I have to take it down. I'd rather build up than take down. So I'm sure that depending on how you apply your shadows and all that will determine how this works for you. But for me it was it's really fine so i normally start i have what they call the transition shade all over my lid my movable lid up to my eyebrow i've already done that and right now i'm, I'm working on the crease color which is this particular one i'm holding the palette upside down so if you were looking at the palette it would be the second one in from the right and i'm trying to do this on a mirror so what i do is i tap out my brush slightly and i try to rather than you know, stretch um, or spread or I try as much as possible to pat the colors down. I don't always, I'm not always successful with that. A lot of times I do swish a little bit, you know, the windshield wiper motion, but I really try to do more of a pat job than anything else. So tonight Jay and I, or this afternoon Jay and I are going out. We're going to be celebrating our anniversary this week on the 15th was our 30th anniversary. And so we're going out to dinner in a place that I really, really like. It's my favorite restaurant and he really likes it too. And I don't think it's so much a favorite for the food as it is the ambiance. It's on the ocean, it overlooks the ocean. It's just absolutely beautiful, I really like it. So what I've done with this color is I've kind of gone in my crease. I can see I've gone up too high. I usually have to do a lot of cleanup work, but I've gone into my crease and I've just gone into the outer V a little bit with this. And uh, I'm using the Sonia G brush set that I actually got last year for my, this year for my birthday um, from Marlene Fab and Glam and Simply Sheila. Because I've always had hooded eyes, and then as my eye hoods kind of receded a little bit or lifted a little bit, I have a lot of wrinkly skin. And I, you know, so I, there's a lot of movement on my eyes, and I try to minimize that movement <laughs> as much as possible. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing a good job with that. But anyway, so I just kind of like tap this in, and it's very uneven. I can see it's very uneven, but this is the way I kind of do it, and I do both eyes. I do the steps, you know, like the all over, the all over on both eyes, and the shadowing on both eyes, and then I go in and I do, you know, a little bit of a cleanup, but I kind of try to look at it in a way that makes it somewhat, you know, somewhat equal, uh, but it isn't going to be perfectly equal. I go in and I try to blend a little bit, and this is where I get more of my my uh, movement on my lids that I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, it's kind of really funny. The other day, I got a message from, I think it was um, Mary Ellen came first. But anyways, I got two messages on a very old video. And the old video was nine years ago. 
it was 2011 and the, it, it, I was really so glad I mean it was kind of a it was a funny thing that YouTube was actually recommending that old video but I was really kind of glad that they saw it and left me a comment and it made me because their comment was on the idea of wow you look so much younger today whatever you're doing obviously it is working for you you look so much younger today and that kind of like really made me feel good so I think what I'm going to do is shoot my Retin-A four-year update because it was four years in August and I haven't done it yet. I just think with the issues with my dad, it just threw me in for a loop. So I haven't really done that yet. I'm going to do it. And, um, and so I'm going to use that video clip. So at the same time, I had two of you say, wow, you look amazing now compared to, you know, nine years ago. A few minutes later, I got a comment. <laughs> From one of my on one of my newer videos from someone that says uh, you just need a facelift <laughs> I cracked up so anyways I'm going to go and do the middle shade they're calling this is the lash line it's like a darker deeper brown right here and I'm gonna put that into into my crease I'm gonna use the same brush I have I really love these brushes and I know everyone everyone has their own favorites uh, and I just kind of messed up a little bit, but that's okay. I could fix all of my mess ups. I am not using any kind of a lid primer. All I have is the all over, the all over shade, um, you know, that I put on, but no lid primer at all. And I do have my mascara on. 90% of my mascara is on. After I do my eyeshadow, I will touch up my mascara, darken it in spots after I brush whatever, if there is any residual shadow on there. The one thing I'm really liking about this palette is that much like my Viseart palette, it does not have any fallout. It just simply does not have any fallout. Very minimum, very minimal fallout at all. So now I'm going to go into the center eyelid and this is on the very bottom of this, which will be the top as I turn it over, the center eyelid. I really like the fact that they have these like kind of labeled like this because it makes it for people that like me that um, don't know what they're doing that well. It kind of really helps them. So I'm just tapping this into my center eye look, my center eyelid. Oops. And again, I'm looking for a more of a, a natural type of look. You know, I don't want to have a look that's going to be um, too bold or too bright. And then on the very top, and now I'm switching to a Sigma brush. On the very top, which will be the very bottom, I'm going to do the inner corner using this particular color right here. The inner corner. Now, I should also tell you that I have on a little bit of, oops, did the wrong thing. I have on a little bit of, um, uh, of uh, my skincare, all my skincare is done. I've done my new face device this morning. I've done my red light therapy. I've done all my skincare. Um, it, the only thing I don't have on is any, any foundation or blush or brows or anything like that. So you're seeing me as I really would not ever want to be seen, which is my naked eye look. So what I'm going to do is the inner corner, the lighter inner corner one in the, in the middle row. I'm going to go right down here. Now I can tell immediately that that's too bright, obviously. And the one that I used was this one right here in the middle row. So normally I'm going to blend, I'm going to play. And again, I always do both eyes at the same time. It allows me the ability to really see what I'm doing, to really play with it, to make sure that as much as possible they're kind of equal because, because I, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do a good job with that. My eyes are like all over the place, but I thought it was funny that YouTube was recommending this old video of mine.
to some of my subscribers and friends and that, and how they, how complimentary they were. And then I get this other person that says, you just need a facelift. You know, so let's talk about facelifts. Um, I have never, ever made it a secret that if I could, I probably maybe would, but I'm such a big whoosh, wuss, when it comes to surgery, to needles, and to things of that nature, that I don't know that I could really comfortably kind of pull it off. You know what I mean? Like, I'm such, I'm afraid of surgery. And elective surgery in my world, the elective surgery for me is not anything that my insurance is going to cover. You know what I mean? They're not going to cover anything of that nature. So... And I'm not financially in a situation where I want to spend money on elective surgery that's not covered, um, especially something as dramatic as that. I'm just not really ready for that yet at all. I don't, I don't know that I will ever be ready for it, but at this point in time, I'm not ready for it. So what I'm going to put on now is, and I usually end up doing this and then I go back and play. For me, it's very much about layering on my eye look and then I have to look at myself in different lights. I have to look up, I have to look down. So, um, you know, but right now I'm gonna add some eyeliner and this is actually, I'm gonna show you what this is. This is, I think, fairly new. Um, this is Epic Wear and these are the liner sticks by NYX. And this one is it's like a purple. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my eyes. Took the liner stick. I needed to get up close to a magnifying mirror to do it because I can't see what I'm doing. But I took the liner stick. This is actually called Berry Goth. Berry Goth. I was like, oh my gosh. So um, I ended up lining underneath my lashes a little bit. And then around the my lid my right next to my lash line is what I ended up doing now at this point in time I would continue to blend and then depending on say the, the day that I'm having at work what my schedule is how late I am how I you know whether I did all my skincare I might add more to this if I'm home if I'm going out for the evening I'm definitely going to bold up my inner crease a lot right now it's pretty undramatic but I'm gonna, I can darken it up. I can also put a little bit of smoky glitter on the outside, but I'm not gonna really do that at this point because I, I'm i gonna just kind of blend this out. <laughs> I see the mess I'm making. I'm gonna kind of blend this out and then I will do my eyes and then I will come back in and kind of show you my my finished look and my thoughts on these products. So, everything I've used today, with the exception of the the brushes that I have, were things that were purchased by me. None of this none of this was gifted. I have a couple of products that I have bought in the last couple of weeks. I went on an Ulta haul, well, a mini Ulta haul, and, uh, and I went on a Sephora haul. Yeah, yeah, this, this I got from Sephora, and I got the, and I really like it, the Smashbox. This was a recommendation from Sheila and Marlene. But this is the Smashbox Contour Bronze, Bronzer and Highlighter. So I'm going to use that along with my with my makeup when I come back. But I told you guys, I really don't... I really don't do much of anything spectacular. I do have to work on my outer V. I can tell that. And I'm going to do a better job if I'm standing up at my mirror with my magnifying glass. Because I don't have my eyeglasses on. And when you can't see what you're doing, it's kind of hot. So, I will be back in a moment. Or two. Okay, guys. So, I came back. Um... So I'm going to just tell you quickly what I did. Now, I I am by no means done, done, because I still have to do my setting spray, and then I normally will be, like, blending out more of my shadows, <laughs> because that's what I do. But I just wanted to tell you the rest of what I did. 
uh, on my skin, on my face. I have my number seven. This is the Protect and Perfect. This is with the SPF. I really, really like this foundation. So I've been wearing this almost every single day. I am trying a new foundation that is from a Pharmacy. F-A-R-M-A-S-I V-F-X Camera Ready. Um, I, they've got several samples. The first one that I used a couple of times is just too light for me. So I'm going to open up one of the other samples probably tomorrow and see how um, see how it works. I don't want to do it today because I'm going out and I don't want to have that on. The other thing that I have is the Instant Age Rewind Erase. This is the concealer that I had put on and down around here. I have on my nose, this is my favorite Boeing. I have a number of them. I have three different Boeings. But I have one that's in a stick that I really, really like. And then I have the, I have three little tubes. The one I have on today is the number two. This is sort of like an industrial strength <laughs> concealer. I love, love, love. The one in the stick that kind of looks like, I don't have it with me, it kind of looks like this, the one in the stick, is not the industrial strength. I really like that because that can add, give me an added surge of moisture during the day that I really like. So I have that on. Um, I have my foundation on. I have this concealer on. I use the Smashbox contour to try to contour a little bit. I am lousy at contouring, totally lousy at contouring. But I use the Smashbox. They do have a little bit of a diagram there so you can kind of read it, uh, follow along. I didn't, I, and I have the brush. I use that, and then when it was all done, I took my, and this is a Sigma, the large powder. This is the F30. Anyways, I took this and I dumped it into the, I dumped it, I tapped it into the bronzer pot and I just kind of like went all over my face. Did like a little bit of a bronze so that I didn't have, I didn't look too pale. On my eyebrows, I, I really like the Billion Dollar Brows a lot. So on my eyebrows, I have the Billion Dollar Brow Pencil and this was sent to me in PR, and I've talked about it before. I have the pencil on. I, I have like four different eye products on them, but today just the pencil. And then I have on top of it, I have the color and control. This is the brow gel. I really like that. You know, the ones that come out look like a little mascara. I really like these. These are the only two things right now that I have on my brows. For my blush, I really love Madame Out. Mad, is it Mad About Mauve? Mad About Mauve. This is an Avon blush. I've been using this. I would have to say this is my favorite blush overall. I've used many different blushes, but this, I just keep going back to this one because I love how it looks on me. It doesn't look like va boom too much. Um, it just looks really nice. I really like how it, how that looks on me. So on my lips, my lip liner, I have several different of the lip liners. These are the Glimmer Sticks from Avon. So when I buy my, my blush, I also always buy the Glimmer Sticks. I also have a lot of the Glimmer Sticks eye, Eyebrow, which I like a lot. I've used over the course of time. They're really super good as well. But my Avon lips, this is the Perfect Plum. I don't know. I line my lips with it, Perfect Plum. It looks really good. Today, I'm not wearing my Color of the World lippies. I'm actually wearing, I want to say this is probably about maybe the fourth tube of this that I've bought in a number of years. Um, this is number 450. This is Romantic Rose Maybelline. This one is fairly new. I think I bought this. You can see there's lots in here. I just really, I, if I'm going to, like for a regular lipstick, this Romantic Rose color matches anything, any look I have. I really, really like it. Whereas my color of the world, they're, they're a little bit more creamy, they're more softer. I have different shades of mauve. I have a bunch of different shades in that that I love. So if I'm not gonna use a color of the world, it's gonna be this one is my top one that I get at the drugstore and I, I really like it. Now, for a lip gloss, <laughs> now I'm not even gonna tell you about the lip gloss I bought, but I'll tell that in another video. Uh, but I usually top off with a lip gloss. And for many years, my, my, um, 
my favorite, my favorite was White Russian from Buxom. I, that has been my favorite lip gloss. And then I went and I bought some of the, um, the drugstore that I really, I think really is a, it's not a dupe, but it works really nice. It's the Hard Candy. So the Hard Candy lip glosses, lip plumpers, you can get many different shades. I really like them a lot. In some cases, they're probably, it depends how fussy you are on lip gloss, you might like them just as much as a high end. If, if price were no factor, I'd buy the, I'd buy the Buxom, if price were no factor. But these are pretty darn good for, for, I think, for the price point, and I like, I have like maybe five of them, I use them. But I am trying another lip plumper. I'm really excited about it. I'll tell you that another time. Um, but I think, other than, I think I told you everything. Other than my Essence Color Corrector, I usually do that under my eyes a little bit. And then during the day, I've been trying this for a while, and I actually think Susan, Little Poet, might have mentioned this as well. This is the Garnier. This is the Claire Brightener. And I have a very light shade. Um, I would have to really look at the color. I think it's in... I think I have the universal sheer tint light to medium anti dark circle eye roller. So I bought this an anti dark circle eye roller. So what I've been using this as a touch up during the day. Now normally I use my Boeing uh, touch up for here. It's really rich and creamy. I, I actually should compare the two of them in a video. But this I've been trying. I find it comes on too too bright for me. It's like I really have to, ha you, it, it says roll like this. If I roll like that, I have too much of a coverage. This might be perfect for someone who wants that much coverage. I, I really don't. So um, that's kind of all I have on my face today. I haven't done my hair. I did go and do my hair. I had my hair cut and then I had, instead of my hair, my roots are done, I had my hair um, heavily, heavily highlighted, really blonde. I know you can't see it in this, but really blonde highlighted. I think what I'm going to try to do is kind of, um, kind of like, uh, see how it grows out and, and kind of avoid coloring it a little bit more, you know, letting my gray or, or, and I'm not ready. I'm not going to go gray. I'm not going to be like a Mary Glitzy Fritzy and just, you know, da -da, she looks awesome in that color. I wouldn't. And, um, and I've seen Marlene Fab and Glam, and she's done some beautiful gray wigs, and to me, it would just age me. But um, I want to have the, the gray or the white that I have naturally, and it's only around my crown, my hairline, I should say, that I have that. The back of my hair, the rest of my hair, I have no gray. Um, but I want to see if I can blend it in with more blonde highlights. So I don't have to process as much. That's what I'm thinking. And also because my hair tends to pull brass and orange. I'm thinking if I do that rather than color, it might be a little bit better. So um, that's what I've been doing. I've been trying a few different things. And anyways, that's what I have on my face today, I should say. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I look a mess, but I'll fix my eyes before I go out in public. <laughs>